Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logix. This is a spiral matrix four problem from Lead Code and the number for this is two three two six. So in the given problem we have two integers m and n which represent the dimension of a matrix. Now we are given with the head of a linked list. We have to generate an m cross n matrix that contains the integer in the linked list. So this linked list will be containing uh, some integers. So we have to make m cross n matrix that contain the integers in the present in the linked list and also in the spiral order like clockwise. So we have to st store all the elements of the linked list in spiral order starting from top left of the matrix and if there are any, any remaining spaces we have to fill them with minus 1 and we have to return the generated matrix. So to solve this problem of filling the matrix with uh, values from the linked list we need to simulate the process of filling the matrix in a spiral manner so let's see how we are going to do this with the help of example suppose we had a linked list with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and we have to fill a 3 cross 3 matrix so what would do there be the first step so the first step will be to create an initial matrix and initial matrix we will initialize with minus 1 because in any case we do not get the linked list values equal to the number of values in the spiral then we have to fill minus one so take a precaution and fill minus one from initial also now how we are going to do here since we have to do it at clockwise so first of all we'll first of all we'll fill the top row you can see that this top row we'll be filling so start with reversing from left column to the right column so we'll fill one two three now once we have filled the top row now it's the time to fill the last column that is the rightmost column so we'll be filling the rightmost column you can see then we have filled the last rightmost column 3 4 5 now top is done right is done now we have to do the traversal from bottom this this traversal this one so so we'll fill the matrix from the bottom okay and then at the last we'll fill the matrix in the left column so this is how we are going to approach the problem and in the last iteration we'll move inside once we have completed all the four direction top right bottom left then we'll move one index inside for each of the particular operations and then again perform the problem till the linked list becomes empty and then we can return the final answer when the linked list is empty or the entire matrix is filled so you have seen we will take some variables such as top row, bottom row, left column, right column that define the boundaries such as the top row define the top boundary, bottom define the bottom boundary, left defines the left and the right defines the right boundary. And we will be filling in this same order first top then right then bottom then left. So this was the core example explanation of how we are going to solve this problem now let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel so let's come to the code so the code is divided into basically three parts the first part is the matrix initialization the second part will be the spiral filling logic that is the top right bottom and then left and the last case would be the edge handling case so let me tell you the approach so the in the first part that is a matrix initialization we define uh, m cross n matrix okay we can you can define it as rows and columns also but for now i have defined it as rows and co column i will take afterwards and then i have initialized it with column afterwards and filled it with minus one i've done this so this becomes easy to fill with minus one now in the next step the this part contains the spiral filling logic so first we'll define the boundaries so the top row boundary is initially zero bottom row boundary is row minus one left column is zero right column will be column minus one that is In this case, if I take m and n, then it will be n minus 1. But for 
like so there should be no confusion so i have defined it as rows and columns so it becomes column minus one and row minus one now since we have to check we have to fill the matrix till the time uh, we do not get empty in the linked list empty node in a linked list so while head not equal to null the first step is to fill the top row so we initialize a column from left column to the rightmost column and till or we also check that the linked list should not be null in any case so we move from the leftmost column to the rightmost column and head should not be null and then we then we fill the that particular row that is the top row initially it will be zero so this row will be filled first then once the top row is filled we'll move to fill the rightmost column so now row becomes top row initially top row is zero but here the top row will become one and we'll move till the bottom row and always we have to check that the head should not be equal to null because in any case the linked list becomes empty we have to return it so then we have to fill the right column so with a similar approach we fill the rightmost column then again we'll traverse through all the co columns from the rightmost column to the leftmost column we'll fill the elements of the linked list into the matrix okay bottom is also filled then we'll fill the leftmost columns so when the leftmost columns are filled okay Incre increment the counter now you see for the top row and the bottom for, for the top row and the left column we are increasing the counters and the for right the for the right column and the bottom row we are decreasing the counters because if you see the top row is initially zero we have to move inside so it becomes plus one and the right column is actually the last column so we have to reduce it to move inside so this is how it works now let's run this code particular code so it runs fine on the sample test cases let's run for the hidden test cases as well so passes with a very good time complexity and a memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is o of uh, m cross n because every cell in the matrix presents exactly one so either we are filling it as minus one or we are traversing it so it becomes o of m cross n and the space complexity is also o of m cross n because it includes the space required for the matrix now you can also find my c plus plus python and javascript solution by going into the solutions panel and then check this solution land so tech here you can find the detailed intuition approach complexity analysis step by step explanation and yes the java code c++ code python code javascript code and yes do remember to upload the solution guys so thank you for watching the video have a nice day i hope you understood the logic thank you